Hey y'all, welcome back to, what is this video? This is my quarterly updates video, right. Um, so as always, I have my notes right here. Right now we're updating on the Project Pen quarterly goals uh, quest type thing um, for the end of April edition. Um, so uh, let's start with the 12 makeup items that I want to use up uh, before the end of June. Um, so I used up or decluttered three this month. Um, one was the Ulta Eyeliner in Storm. Um, it was not my favorite formula. It wasn't staying on at all and I just never found myself reaching for it. So um, that got decluttered. Um, and honestly, I haven't missed it. Um, and then what else? Then uh, the Lush Face Wash, the little solid one, that got used up uh, towards the middle of the month. So that is gone. And then the Cucumber Mint Lip Balm, this always seems to happen to lip balms, but that one has gone missing. I have checked literally every bag, every corner, every like behind my computer, behind my desk, behind my whatever. Um, and it's nowhere. So obviously by what I, by the act of filming and posting this video, that means it's going to uh, turn up somewhere. So um, right now I'm counting it as missing and uh, counting it as decluttered. Um, and then what was the other one? Nope, that's it. Uh, so let's get on with the rest of the products. There are nine left. Uh, first is the CoverGirl Foundation, the True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Um, there hasn't been enough progress below the tape line to um, make it uh, worth doing another tape line, so there's that. Um, then we have the um, Femme Fatale Daughter of Eve blush. Um, it's a really pretty pink shade. I have it on today. Um, I haven't used it very all that much. Um, so originally it weighed in uh, at 40.6 grams with uh, in the packaging but without the cap and when I weighed it earlier today it was 40.35 grams so it's not a lot but I haven't been doing a lot of face makeup in general this month. Um, it was kind of hectic in the mornings so I kind of just did my eyes and left because that's really all I had time for. All right. Um, Next is the Urban Decay uh, ed, uh, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, there is, uh, so this was the initial tape and then this was um, when I measured it last uh, for this video. I get the feeling that I'm gonna use this up this month um, because there's not a lot left. I've been having trouble getting it out. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then next uh, are the two eyeshadows. Um, the eyeshadows are, um, are in a small magnet magnetic palette. So uh, this one was uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Custard. Um, there is kind of a dip going in there. Um, now that, it's hard to see it, but now that the uh, there's a dip in not that there, there's a dip, that vibrate from the uh, petite heat palette is almost gone. I've been using uh, custard quite a bit to set my eyeshadow primer. Um, and then this is from an Etsy brand called Mother Bear Handmade. This is the shade Ruby. Um, I haven't been able to do a lot of color in my looks lately. Um, so I haven't been using that as much. Um, so initially custard weighed in at 9.7 grams and now it is 9.28 grams and ruby weighed in at um, 8.32 grams and now it is 8.2 grams. Uh, so definitely more usage on custard than on ruby but uh, still uh, quite a bit and so there is that. And then is the Urban Decay Eyeliner in the shade Whiskey. Um, and so the goal for this one is to use this one up. Uh, so far I have sharpened it maybe two or three times. Um, it's lost about three quarters of an inch I want to say. And so that is trucking along just fine. Um, and then is Urban Decay Spiderweb, the Vice Lipstick in Spiderweb. Um, 
This has lost maybe a centimeter, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, I'm not really sure. Uh, it initially weighed in at 35.3 grams and now it is 34.94 grams. And I think there's a total of like three and a quarter, three and a half grams of product apparently, according to the packaging. And, um, wait, what does it say? It doesn't. Um, when I looked it up, it had like three and a, three and a quarter to three and a half uh, grams of product. And so um, that's what a little over almost half a gram, not almost. 0.4 ish almost 0.4 three five um and then uh the yes to uh my cellar water um now that i'm running out of face wipes and i have fewer tours uh in the evenings with my night job um i've been using this a little bit more um once i completely run out of face wipes i've uh, repurchased few but once I completely run out I'll stop rebuying uh, face wipes until this is done um, so that should be probably later this month um, and then it should make plenty of progress uh, from then through the end of June and then is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose uh, Rollerball perfume um, and so this top one is from uh, a different project and then this is where it started uh, for this one and I've used it quite a bit so this is where it is right now um, so it's definitely it's a nice scent but I'll be glad when I'm able to rotate through other ones um, just because it's not again it's not bad but it's not becoming not my favorite if that makes sense so that's it for the makeup stuff now on to the writing goals um, so I haven't been keeping up with writing goals as much as I really would have liked to um, just because I work two jobs and it's getting into busy season and that means that I don't have time during the week a lot of the time and then my weekends are usually taken like I gotta do laundry I gotta run errands I gotta film stuff I gotta get a bunch done which means I haven't had time to write as much initially my goal was to uh, commit at least 90 minutes a week to uh, getting that updated and I really haven't I've been slacking quite a bit, but um, This This is one of my days off. This is a random Monday that I've gotten off So I'm probably going to do quite a bit of writing uh, today once I get uh, the rest of my stuff done and so hopefully that'll um, help me reset that habit and I'm doing a lot today to get habits reset and get ahead on things like laundry and stuff so hopefully I'll be able to uh, make some more time for it in the coming month um, and then for reading uh, my four books are Jane Eyre, Count of Monte Cristo, The Black Patriots and, so and Loyalists and The Night Circus. Uh, I made maybe five pages worth of progress on Black Patriots and Loyalists um, and I made about 40-50 pages worth of progress in Jane Eyre. Um, I want to focus on Jane Eyre um, for the next week or two just to make the progress. I have about 200 pages left, but um, I'll, I have some time, um, like in between work shifts, I have a little bit of time. I have a little bit of time after I get done with work. Um, and it's easier for me to like read before bed than it is for me to like write before bed or make notes and things like that. Um, so hopefully I will be able to make more progress on this and then my next book will probably be, um, the next one I'll focus on is The Night Circus just because it's shorter and it's a little bit, the other three, the other two that are remaining are a little bit either denser, longer, or just harder to get through and Night Circus is nice because it's sort of contemporary, it's fantasy and it's fun. Um, not to say that Count of Monte Cristo is not fun, but it's not a contemporary fantasy. All uh, right, so, and then um, yarn goals, knitting and yarn goals. So um, my three projects were a large blanket and a smaller rainbow scarf and um, a shawlette. And the one I've been focusing on right now is the shawlette. Uh, this is how it looks right now. Um, yeah, it's gotten quite a bit longer 
for uh, this, it's just, I'm gonna, just doing it for one of those things where I just run until the yarn's done and then I finish it. And so if I'm able to knit maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes a week, or not a week, 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes a day, totaling maybe an hour or two a week, um, I should be able to get this done by the end of the month. And then I'll probably head on to the um, butterfly scarf next just because it's easier to of the two remaining projects it'll be the quicker one uh, to get done but I have made a little bit of progress on the Rowan blanket as well um, just because if I need if it's a rainy day and I want to like watch British bake off and knit things uh, the Rowan blanket is really nice for that so yeah uh that is my project update for the second month of the second quarter of the year um thank you all for joining and i'll see y'all in my next one bye